Okay, I'm going to pretend to be one of my characters, Fat Cat California. Now, usually when I'm doing Fat Cat, I put a pillow under here to make myself look fat. And, you know, he's very jolly, Fat Cat California. He's a singer for a band, and uh, he, uh, he listens to the Voice of God network uh, pretty much all the time. Uh, what else did we want to tell you? Oh, uh, there are certain people who are propagating this idea that uh, COVID-19 and this quarantine is something to do with processing the shadow. What is the shadow? The shadow is a term from psychology. Uh, perhaps it has to do with Sigmund Freud or Carl Jung and Freud. Some of these, you know, old time fathers and mothers of psychology and the idea is that you are facing parts of you that you don't like so if you are facing uh, problems of you know being involuntarily quarantined it means basically you've been The phone has gone on the fritz. All I see is a still picture of me. I don't know if this video is going to work. The phone has been acting up and I've rebooted it a couple of times and it's not improving. Uh, what I want to tell you is uh, your phones are... Um, your phones are being manipulated someone else has a back door into your phone and sometimes they well everyone knows already that smart tvs have the capability of monitoring you they have got cameras and microphones and people know that you know a lot of these phones you can say hey alexa to it and it will uh, respond to you so i mean there is a back door into these phones and the phones can be made to act up mostly to annoy you then what you learn is pretty much everything that you sense as an emotion is manipulated because it's just like in that Jumanji uh, movie uh, you are in a simulated reality and there are other people who are manipulating you it's you know the Truman Show was a primitive version of what we're in now. What does it feel like to be in simulated reality? Well, they're giving you simulated words through your simulated body to say. So all you really are is someone who is uh, someone's voodoo child. A Jimi Hendrix song. So, if I was going to give you a review of the Hendrix song, I'd have to play it, and I haven't heard it in a long time. But, you know, if you like to hear Voodoo Child, Hendrix was worth listening to. Thank you for watching my strange videos. I don't want to tell you that pretty much I do them because um, I'm told to by the puppet masters, masters of puppets. That was another band's album and they're not telling me the name because, you know, being mind controlled, um, I don't have the ability to pull up the memories. They just force feed me with the words. MK Ultra. No, I don't think I was went, put through an official MK Ultra. This is all um, some kind of a weird thing. But oh, yeah, they wanted to go back to people who were saying that this is uh, Dark Knight of the Soul, um, never ending push to tell you what to say. You're never going to really understand it until you start to awaken from thinking that this is all you and then realizing it ain't you you are a voodooed person and you probably have been since you were a child 
And the thing is that they want the information to come out through you so other people can hear about it. They're itching my skin because maybe you're next. The depth of the evil that is in this particular simulated reality is hard to believe. But some people are given to type these words that it's, you know, cleaning out something in your psyche. You don't have a psyche. This is all simulated psyche. And are they going to really clear this out to give you, you know, the 5D, fifth dimension? Highly unlikely. Most likely, it's just another psychological operation on you. I hope I get paid a lot for doing this, because so far, all I end up doing is spending a lot of money that I did work for. Uh, basically, the powers that run this operation basically want to humiliate you so much, like you're a prisoner of war at the Hanoi Hilton. But I'm not in Hanoi. I'm here in North America, and this is the state of the union. There ain't no union. There ain't no state. It's full of demons. We live in a demonic hell. On the bright side, you know, pretty much you're still being fed, but uh, they always threaten you that they're going to cut off the food supply and the water supply, and they keep reminding you because they itch your skin that they can basically do anything to you now that you are imprisoned. This is another episode of The Twilight Zone.